Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today we'll be taking a look on .OS which is an official version for MIA1 so without wasting any time let's get started in this video we'll be taking a look on the features which are available on .OS along with the benchmark results and at the end of the video I'll show you the installation process so guys this will be the first look of your room long pressing home screen will take you to launcher setting here you can customize the home screen app drawer app icon and under others you have option of add icons to home screen allow home screen rotation and guys this room is very much stable i've been using it since morning i did not find any kind of issues volt services are working talking about camera there are no lags found on camera which is working fine after initial boot up you will face issues with bluetooth crashing so that's only once after you complete the initial setup bluetooth will be working fine so going to the system setting about phone and OS information as you guys can see here model MIA1.OS version is version 2.1 which is based on Android 8.1 Oreo and the release date is 22nd March with a security patch of 5th March 2018 and this will be the look of your quick setting tiles there are no changes done over here going to settings here you can find Android P like icons available but inside there are no changes so now let's take a look on the features and the customization options which they have got it on this room first of all you can find all the customization options under dot extras which have customizations related to status bar navigation bar quick settings recents lock screen and system so these things will cover later and in this room you also get dot ui center where you can change the theme of your device which means overlay engine after that you have ascent engine where you can change the essence and rest in settings you have basic information about network and internet connected devices app and notification dot center dot extras root management display gives you options of tap to wake default theme can also be changed from here you also have UI style which can be set as wallpaper based, light UI, dark UI and black UI. Then going to the system, here you have few gestures available which is swipe fingerprint for notification and jump to camera. So jump to camera and swipe notification is working fine without any kind of issues. And one more good thing about this OS is it also supports OTA update. So you can check the update from here and update your device if any update available for the same room. So now let's go to the main customization options which are available under dot extras. So going with status bar here you have option to customize the battery icon style and you get few options under the same that is circle, dotted circle, big circle, text or hidden. You also have option to show battery percentage then moving to clock and date where you have basic settings available status bar icon traffic indicator which can be enabled or disabled from here later you have miscellaneous extras under which you have double tap on the status bar to sleep and brightness control by sliding across the status bar so both of these things are working double tap to wake is also working then you have navigation bar under which you can customize the navigation bar if you want you can keep it you can also change the settings navigation mode can also be changed from smart bar to fling and you also have options to change the height and the width of the navigation bar later you have quick setting panels which has an option of show a brightness slider in the quick setting panels which you can see over here later you have quick pull down smart pull down and later few settings for rows and column then you have recents under which you have recent UI and in this you can also enable memory bar. So if you press recents you can see the memory bar on the top of the recents and you also have option of immersive recents. Under lock screen you have few options where you can tune your lock screen, double tap to sleep, lock screen charging info and the last one is media cover arts and the last one is quick settings under which you have general tweaks which consist of few options like battery charging light which can be changed from here buttons where you have few options of power menu disable keys swap volume buttons 
playback control and the last one is app operations so these are the customization options available here on this rom and as of now pretty smooth rom did not find any kind of lags volt services everything is working fine now talking about the benchmark results so first going with the geekbench application under this results were single core code 865 wherein multi core code 4390 going with antutu bench application under this results were 80239 pretty good scores no hitting issues till now charging speed is also good better than stock roam and if you guys want to use this roam as a daily driver you can surely use it there are no bugs found till now on this roam so now let's move on to the installation process To install this ROM, make sure you have downloaded all the files from the description below which includes the ROM file, Google app package, recovery file and the recovery installer. Once you have downloaded all these files, reboot your device to bootloader that is fast boot mode. First power off your device. Once the device is powered off, hold volume down and power key together to boot to bootloader that is fast boot mode. After that, connect your device to your PC. And now you need to open command prompt here. So make sure you have placed all these files in a single folder. Then in the address bar type CMD, hit enter. So command prompt will pop up and after that you need to boot to recovery. So here we are using this recovery that is 3.2.1. Copy this name and once you copy this name, type here fast boot. Boot and paste the name of the recovery followed by .img that's an image file and if your device is still logged and you are on stock room then you need to give a command over here that is fastboot oem unlock after that you can use this recovery command once you have put this command hit enter and now your device will boot into recovery once your device boots into recovery swipe to allow modification go to wipe advance and select everything from here and if you don't select internal memory that's okay here because I'm using custom ROM already but if you're coming from stock ROM make sure you select internal memory also after that what you need to do is you need to copy these files that is a ROM file Google app package and the recovery installer copy all three of them and place it inside the internal memory once you are done with this go to install and install the ROM file first. Once the ROM is flashed successfully, then guys, one more thing you need to copy here that is Magisk version 16.0. So you can download Magisk version 16.0 and place it inside the internal memory. So I have already copied in the folder. I'll copy from there and place it inside internal memory. So now if I go to install, I have Magisk version 16.0. So guys, after installing the ROM, do not reboot your device before that flash this file that is recovery installer. So flash this file. This will avoid replacing recovery. And Once this is done, then again you go back, reboot your device to recovery. So now your device will boot into TWRP recovery. You don't have to give the command using your PC. After that, go to install and install the Google app package that is ARM64. After Google app package has been flashed, go back and install Magisk version 16.0. So after this, you just need to reboot your device. So let's reboot the device. and. Booting up will take somewhere around 2-3 to three minutes once it boots up complete the initial setup and if you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below. So guys as of now only this much in this video. Hope you like the video and if you like the video do give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.